The Jackal Cafe is essentially a mobile food truck in the body of a 1967 Volkswagen Combi. I got the idea, I suppose, first for when I was living in Japan. I was in Tokyo. I used to go to this little place near Tokyo Station called the International Forum. And at lunchtime, they used to have all these different food trucks come with all different sizes and just the cuisine and the, the style of food that they were able to get out of these tiny little buses and vans and even station wagons. Some of them just amazed me. I've never seen anything like that in, in Australia or if we did it was a Mr Whippy or something very basic. So I guess that's where I first spotted the idea and started thinking about it. Sure enough one day this van turned up and I'm not sure if anyone else knew what to do with it but um, as soon as I saw it I knew what it was and um, yeah contacted the owner and I think the next day made an offer and we're in business. It was three of us who got together. We, I met Mark first. He, he uh, is the chef and one of the part owners of a little cafe right near where I live in Bondi. And, you know, I think I was going there pretty much every morning for his breakfast. It was just amazing, really, his flavours that he had there. And um, we became quite good friends through it. And, you know, I was looking for kind of the next, the, the next challenge for it. And um, he had another friend, um, Edgy, who would now, it's now the three of us, who went through a bit of a bad patch and he was eating jaffles for pretty much breakfast, lunch and dinner at that time. And it all just kind of dawned on us that, um, well, let's go jaffles. That's something that's very Australian. Uh, it's, it's kind of the poor man's treat and we haven't seen it for a long time. So, uh, you know, bringing the modern flavours that Mark has and is really good at to an old classic we thought would be um, a really strong idea, especially in a, in a market where anything Australian is really quite popular again right now. As you know, probably the Jaffel was really known as the Breville or the Toasty, I suppose, in England, but I think most of us knew it as a Breville. So going back to, you know, the classic maker was really just a no-brainer for the business. Alright, we're making uh, three of our specialties for you today. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, something that we think is a good twist on an Aussie classic. So we're going to be making a uh, spaghetti a spaghetti gruyere jaffle. We're using our spaghetti mix that we've made ourselves with some tomato sauce, fresh basil and then the gruyere cheese. We're um, placing our spaghetti mix out into our bread. Make sure we just go overdo it with the sauce we found just to make it nice and oozy. Once you're finished, and don't be shy on the cheese either. And uh, for some people it might be a bit strange to see spaghetti inside a, uh, a sandwich, but um, mainly because you think it might jump out the sides. But that's why we chose Breville. Breville actually invented the original toasty maker in 1974, I think it was, um, which actually sealed the ingredients inside and split them down the middle. So it fitted perfectly with our theme, going retro, and uh, made it a really easy snack for our customers to eat. So here it is guys, this is our homemade spaghetti, basil and gruyere cheese jaffle. Coming up next is uh, something that's very unique. It's one of our painting dishes here at Jaffa Jaffles. So we've got this monkfish jaffle. We've got the monkfish, a crispy bacon through it. We've got some green peas. Uh, you can use other fish if you want to. We can use some white fish like a perch or you could use a ling. Whatever you can find at the fish markets, that's a good price and um, recommended by your fishmonger. So in the, in the sauce, we've, we've put some Dijon mustard. We've thickened it up with some corn flour. If you feel a bit cheeky, you could put a little bit of brandy, which we have, just to lighten the flavours up. Just placing the mixture inside as we did with the spaghetti one. Um, same procedure. All right, Mark, lights on. I think we're ready. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Lastly, we'd like to show you one of our sweet dessert jaffles. Mark, show us what's in this one. Okay, this is our almond cream and pineapple jaffle. Here I've got some almond cream, some fresh pineapple cut up, and some brioche bread. We choose brioche because the, of the sweetness of the bread, lots of butter, real tasty for dessert jaffles. Mm. Adding our almond cream, a few pieces of the pineapple. Oh, You'll notice that we uh, don't need to butter the brioche. It's already sweet enough and it has all the natural sugars in it that we need. So putting it straight into the, uh, the Breville machine works fine. It's also a non-stick surface, which makes it easy for us. I don't want to sound impatient, but I reckon that's been about three minutes and we're good to go. Right, let's go then. Let's get it. Oh. Beautiful. Perfect. It's the brioche just browns very, very nicely on the outside. No need for butter. And uh, a couple of their strawberries Beautiful there for garnish. us as a garnish. And that's, um, that's one of our best dessert sweet jaffles. What do you reckon? We're getting them? I think so. All right, perfect. Thanks. Mmm. Don't know what everyone's problem is. I would have thought it would have been a great beach day today. All right, anyway, let's get out of here.